Hello co-creators! Well, I am on my way to go to work. It's really cold. Actually, you can see out of my mouth. It's 12 Fahrenheit and uh, my car is just barely warming up. I just got in there. Uh, but I wanted to update you on um, how the deposition went in Miami because uh, a lot of you sent me positive encouragement and comments and I could definitely feel your energy and positive thoughts. It went actually really, really well. I happened, not by coincidence, but I happened to have the, um, the book The Astonishing Power of Emotions in my hand and especially the CD that goes along with it um, right on my trip to Miami. And that book um, just opened up so much for me. And the main thing, you know, I got is removing the resistance. So I went into deposition and even if things didn't go right, according to plan, um, right before the deposition with, with my lawyer and we got, we, um, we couldn't find the building and we were just in Miami, but instead it was an adventure. I'm mean, just some little things like that, but it didn't bother me. I'm like, it's all according to plan. Everything for me was divinely, you know, in order. So I didn't make anything wrong. And I did this deposition. Um, it lasted for about an hour and a half. And um, their attorney is known to be not that nice of an attorney, to not use any other words. <laughs> And actually, none of this bothered me. I uh, I was so centered and focused and so in the moment, just seeing this as there's nothing wrong here. You know, this is, this is what they're asking me to do and that's fine and that's part of my experience and I will learn from it and grow from it. And as we know, when you're in business, you know, this is part of being in business. So. All emotion had gone because I had met him again by coincidence I don't think so met him two months ago um, at, at a uh, bar in Folodedale and I happened to bump into him so on that day I had the opportunity to release the emotion that I had attached to the case meaning you know how could they do that to me it's not fair blah 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 so I had cried on that day so at the deposition, I was not emotional. I had already seen him and I was really focused on the question, just answering them. I was so relaxed, so in the flow. I felt sorry for him choosing such a weak attorney. I mean, my power, and it was not like I was imposing it or, um, you know, I just felt like I didn't add anything to it. So I was really present. I didn't want to uh, put them down or I didn't want to put him down. I didn't. Uh, want to make it prove a point it was just really the deposition you know answer the question and don't add anything to it this is this, you know just so an event that could have been a really tough one and devastating and um, you know with uh, uh, people writing everything and you know it's pretty intimidating when it's your first time and I had such a blast and I can even say a blast like I have really had a great time I even got a high from it you know because I was so amazed by how you know what I really have inside what I really got in my tummy and that if I want to I can focus and I can be there and I can answer it and I answered those questions honestly and um, it was just great and um, their lawyer, you know, as far as I'm concerned, didn't do such a great job and um, So anyway, so I had a great time wrapped this uh, with my lawyer back in Florida and then uh, two days later um, My client that sued me so three years ago, right? That used to be a friend Called me and said in person instead of through lawyer for the first time in three years <laughs> he said I really didn't like uh, the situation with the lawyer it felt very strange to me and I would like to discuss and find an agreement you know so he wanted to meet now I don't know where he's coming from with this one that doesn't really even matter but the fact that he got you know that there was something bigger than that and we didn't really need lawyers and this whole thing was was pretty huge and I think it definitely came from the place I was coming from and for the first time really releasing it and you know not adding any of my stuff to it and this can apply I'm sharing this story because of course this can apply you know I'm sure to your own personal story whatever you're going through 
Um, so I told him that, you know, I will call him back. He, I felt kind of like an urgency in his voice wanting to deal with that. And so I'm going to call him back. But I haven't yet found a solution that, you know, in my head that I could offer that make me happy and him happy. I'm trying to think, but, you know, I spend quite a lot of money in, in lawyers, you can imagine, for that time. And I would have never gone in this process otherwise if you wouldn't have sued me. And as far as I'm concerned, everything, you know, was delivered and worked. So I don't know. For me, like he, ideally, you know, the situation would just he would just say, okay, you know, let's let's just close this. And he would intentionally want to close this um, and not ask me for anything. But I think he's definitely asking for some money. So um, I have to think about that one. But it, it really, um, it was awesome. And uh, I know the outcome will be great and for the greatest. So just wanted to update you on that because it was a pretty big chunk for me and a pretty large part of the some negative emotions that I had in my life. And I know that once this is going to be closed, um, then it will... And it is already opening a lot. And um, so, anyway, that's all for today.